What's wrong today, with this? <laughs> today we're working on a 200 Chrysler S. 200 S. I don't even know what the hell I'm trying to say. It's, it's a Chrysler 200 S <laughs> with an oil leak. It has an oil leak. Uh, looks like it's coming from around the back of the bell housing. I've actually had this one apart already, so I already know what's leaking. This is a common problem with these. It's the oil cooler. It's a, actually underneath the intake. So we're going to get started on this, and this can give you all a good how-to on how to fix this. First, you want to take your intake off. Yeah, so if you have a Chrysler 200S with a V6, and it's leaking oil, it's probably this. Yeah, more than likely it is this. This is a big problem with these. Don't pay no attention to stuff that stuff back there. Yeah, we got other stuff going on, too. Get your video. <laughs> Yeah, it's heavy. Don't break it, it's Chrysler. Yeah. It'd be like $400 to replace it. Yeah, that bolt? No, the hose. It's going to take me a long time to make. I wonder if we got a little under it yet. Yep. There's definitely some new spots under there. Three spots. Just dripping off of stuff under there. Once you get the air intake off, you're gonna have seven bolts through here. You just take that off with an eight millimeter. Once you have that off, you're gonna have two bolts down here for the upper intake. Then you're gonna have two more. Uh, one, yeah, two more. One right here and one right here. Those are all 10 millimeters on the sides. Twenty fifteen. How many miles are on this? 120. 120,000 miles. And she's leaking oil. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Hold on. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's my 10 millimeter? The problem that plagues every mechanic. Where's the 10 millimeter? The 10 millimeter. We're going to have a special drawer full of 10 millimeters. And you'll lose the drawer. That over is like 40,000 miles a year. Now, once I do all this and y'all watch the video, don't be, don't be fixing your own stuff. You no, they're going to fix back. this next time it happens in a week. <laughs> no, 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 no. It better not. It better not. <laughs> And if it does, you call Chrysler. <laughs> they did it. <laughs> it's got some leaves on it. It's been sitting for a while. It doesn't leak when it's sitting, right? Nope. Just while it's running. There it goes. If it leaked while it was sitting and it's been sitting for this long, it probably wouldn't have any oil in it. Because <laughs> that's a very bad oil leak. Like, that's, that's not good. Believe it or not, I found the 10 millimeter. It's gonna lose it in the stand for a minute. Nope, it's not leaving my hand until I'm done with it. Yeah. <laughs> Just make a necklace out of it. My dad actually gave me a necklace with a 10 millimeter on it. <laughs> I swear he did. And then I lost it. You lost the necklace. <laughs> <clears throat> Goodbye. Are you leaving? Yeah. Camera shy? Can't have nothing nice, you know. I don't want to talk about that. Look at their battery. What'd they do that for? What is this? This is new. Why is it doing that? That's another video. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all want to rebuild this today too, right? What? Yeah, we'll what? I mean, do a full rebuild twin turbo kit. Only if you're paying for the parts and it's free labor. <laughs> A full we build? A we build, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> That's not what I said. I'll play the video back later and show you. On this one, <laughs> you also have a, uh, I think it's a half inch down there that the harness is going to clip over. Let's see if you can see it. You're going to have to do a lot of stuff to get this thing off. 
right there. Mm. There's actually another bolt that goes into it somewhere. We'll get it out of there. I'm working on it. <laughs> Leave me alone. We're leaking oil. We're losing oil right now. That's okay. Blue block. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys can cauterize the uh, leak, we, uh, we can do a transfusion. <laughs> Everyone's going to think you're smart or something, Billy. <laughs> Don't let him pull you just because it's, he has a college, college it's, degree. It's only in spurts of like two seconds at a time. <laughs> You figured it out? Yeah, it's just no room back there. At least they put this in a good spot where you got to take the whole top of the motor apart to get to it. <laughs> they didn't want anybody stealing it. I think it'd probably be easier to steal the motor. I'm just going to take the motor. I need the oil cooler, but I'm going to take the whole motor. <clears throat> oh, there's the heater. I can almost see in there what you're doing. Yes. <sighs> Right now. Should be able to pull this one loose and then kind of just shove it to the side a little bit. I think this is dirtier than that 350 we took apart. Probably. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I have to think about it. No, no not the outside of the bottom. I'm talking about the inside. Like right here. Look at all that. Maybe. That, would, that 350 was spotless. To get those out. Was a pain. What are you doing to get those out? You pull up on the red part. You pull up on, on the red one. part and it unclips and you can just pull it out. Well, it won't clip down, but this is down while it's in there. You just pull it up and then you hit this tab. I'm sure a lot of people's gonna break those trying to get those out. Probably. <laughs> It's not a big deal. Shove it back on there when you go. Yeah, don't go buy a new one because oh, I'm sure those come in a set of, you know, a bunch. Big Chrysler, I'm sure they're really expensive. Thing is it's going a little bit faster this time around. And that's usually how it goes. First time kind of slow, second time you know what you're doing. <laughs> kind of got ahead of myself. Once you get the intake off, you're going to want to take the uh, fuel injector harness off.
obviously I didn't show you that. And you're gonna have bolts that go around. It's gonna be an eight millimeter also. Or a 5-16, you can use either one. And then once you have all that loose, this lower intake should come out of there. You're gonna have the fuel rail on there. Don't take that off. Most of the time you can just tuck it up out of the way and it'd be fine. <sighs> now, I see oil everywhere in there. It's all pulled up right there. Once you get in here, you're gonna unplug this sensor. And they really don't want that plug to fall off, so it's, it's on there. It's on there. <laughs> got a rubber butt on me, didn't I? I think it was the other way around. <laughs> How does that come off? You pull this red tab up, and then right here in the end, there'll be a little tab to push down. Oh man, she's in there. You didn't take this off before, obviously. <clears throat> I think this is where it stopped and said you got a problem. That's where the leak is. <laughs> Probably just have to pull it off once we get it up and out of there. <clears throat> anyway, to get this part off, you're going to have, I think it's five bolts. One, two, three, four, five. But right. when you pull that off, there, there's going to be coolant coming out of the bottom. And that coolant is going to be going into oil passages. So what you need to do is you need to drain your coolant, at least below this level, before you take that off of there. Otherwise, you're going to get cooling in your oil, and you're going to have to change your oil. So, we're going to do that. So, I'm going to drain the cooling out, <clears throat> and then we'll come back when we're about to take this off. Oh, it got right. We got as much of the coolant drained as we could. The uh, It's probably going to leak it down into the oil a little bit, so you're going to want to change your oil after you do this. Yeah. Our customer actually did bring an oil change with them, so we'll go ahead and do that for them. Time to get that plug off there. Yeah. Well, now it's all loose and everything, so we're gonna pull it up out of there. Oh, something's open. Am I missing one? Well, I don't think so. I think it's just the gasket holding it down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did get oil in the coolant. Or my cooling in the oil. So, we're definitely gonna wanna change the oil. So what ends up leaking on these? Oh, this gasket's at the bottom. So it's probably been putting coolant in the oil the whole time. No, it leaks oil, it doesn't leak coolant. So once you get that out of there, I'm guessing that plug is just Easy after that. Yeah. <laughs> easy to get to. <coughs> yeah, for sure oil change because that's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot more than a drop went in there. <laughs> we drained out as much as we could get out of it without spending too much time on it. Yeah. I still hear it, listen. There's a few gallons of coolant in your oil now. <laughs> no. <laughs> so if your bearings go out once you leave here, it's not my fault. No, blame the coolant. Blame the deck school. 
Lang Chrysler. <laughs> You're gonna have to get that off of there too. That pole of oil and coolant right there. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna do that? Right. Anyway, these seals right here, the one ends up leaking. Let's see it. Where? Those? One of these. At 120,000 miles, those go bad. <laughs> Maybe before, you never know. That's just when y'all noticed it. But also, a lot of times this housing will actually crack too. This one actually looks so decent. You have a core charge on this? Like, can you send this back and get some money back? Uh, I don't know. In the world. Usually, a better idea is to change the whole thing. You don't have to do it, but. Yeah, it could be a lot of trouble to try and change it one guy at a time and see if it works. That's the reason. That. I'm gonna clean up all this junk in here so they don't have it smoking or anything like that. Good. Smoking's not good, not in a 2015 car. No, what's the fun inside? And then with all these leaves, I mean. I mean, it would never catch on fire because there's so much cooling in it, but. <laughs> hey, it will, it'll catch on fire. Hey, look up here. Look in there. <laughs> it won't take much to get those going. Accelerant. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I Warm too. That's kind of working. Is that a sensor down there that's just full of that? It's just underneath all that. See that wire right there? Yeah. I seen a plug down here. I don't know if it should be wet. That's fine. I mean, it was when you drove it here, because <laughs> that's where all the oil and stuff was going. <laughs> Yeah, this was full of oil before. So it was leaking into that. Yeah, it filled this up and then flowing yeah. what was on the uh, engine cover. Though. Yeah. That's why I couldn't figure out where it was coming. Yeah, because it filled up somewhere else and then started coming out over there and you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I could just remember what I was looking at when I noticed the wet spot on the black thing over here. Um, That's a neat trick you got there. Why did they put that here? <laughs> they said if it starts leaking, it's going to cause a bunch of problems. Yay! <laughs> Or they were way too confident in it. That's never going to leak. We'll just hide it away. They'll never need to see it. <clears throat> kind of like uh, Titanic. Yeah, see that right there? What is that? That's a mess. A sensor. Oh, it's a knock sensor. Hey, <laughs> it's not. Probably doesn't need to get wet. Now we got the new one. Yeah, we're gonna start putting this one on. Put a hose on just now. Yeah. Ooh, hey, this one's turned around from the from the other one. That's actually weird. 
It's actually better. They made an improvement on their part you have to replace. <laughs> Whoever made this part, yeah. Now you bolt it down. The bolts are made to it, so you can't really lose them. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if they come out or not. I didn't really turn it over. Yeah, you can just use uh, paper towels to clean up that mess that it will make as soon as you pick it up out of there. that much pressure that really holds it on there don't it now it's just o-rings on this so there's no like torque order or anything it wouldn't matter you just clamp it on there decently hard yep this one does not have an oil filter in it, so we're gonna have to put one in there. Yeah, so don't put this on here and just take off. It does have an oil filter. Oh, it does. Well, we just learned something too, guys. It does have a filter. All right, so we got one as a backup. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> it's probably where you, no, you feel it over in there. So, we're done with that. We're gonna go ahead and put the lower intake back on, the upper intake, we'll get everything all ready for the oil change then we'll come back and wrap it up with y'all yeah we're gonna start it and let it run and check for leak just to double check a fire <laughs> yeah fire we don't, want, scenario we, don't, test. we don't want a fire either <laughs> <laughs> all right what we'll a fire would be cool <laughs> yeah it'd be cool for youtube not cool for the car owner over there <laughs> shop anyway, burns if we started <laughs> and you know, it on fire out. You can record while we're pushing it out of the, uh, the garage. <laughs> we saved the shop. The car total loss. <laughs> it's yeah, insured. we'll come back after the oil change though. We got the uh, we got everything put back on. Yeah, we're about to start her up and listen to her knock. I mean, uh, purr. <laughs> Hope it don't knock. It may for a split second. It lost all the oil pressure. And we're not going to know if it's leaking oil because we cleaned off the top of that. So if it is leaking, it would just fill that back up. Yeah, it'd take a minute for it to fill up. And not to mention there's still oil that dripped out from everywhere. Yeah, so it could still be dripping under there from spraying all over everything else. I've got a little bit of oil on the headers, apparently. Is it smoking? Yeah, coolant, coolant or oil. See, it's smoking a little bit. It's gonna get that off that manifold. Anyway, uh, let's open the door. We'll back it out. Get some water in it. That's the end of this. Usually, that's the problem if these are leaking oil, though. I mean, you can if you want to pay for the filter. <laughs> That's it though. We did change the oil in it. We're gonna put a little bit more water in it. And then it should be ready to go. Took about, what, hour and a half? If even. And that was messing around most of the time. Yeah. I smell, that's, that's coolant burning off that, I smell it. Yeah. Anyway, let's get it back out. Okay. It's a, uh, it's your oil cooler if it's leaking. Most likely. Most likely. Dude, you're going to need coolant, and it's Dex cool in these, and you're going to need oil. And you're going to need an oil change at the end of that. 
Yep. That's it. And we'll see you all in the next video.